What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find a good product to sell on Amazon. Like I always say, this is the hardest part of the whole process. It could take a lot of time to find a good product to sell on Amazon. There's a lot of things you need to look for and it just takes time. We're going to go into my computer. I'll be using Helium 10, which I use for all of my product and keyword research. I'm going to show you how I use the software. And if you don't have the software, check the link down below to get a discount. I have 50% off codes right down below. Another thing a lot of people have been been asking me from my FBA Facebook community is Pat can you find a product for me I've been spending a week I cannot find a product and the answer is no but I do have a discord community where I post free product ideas I break down why I think they have potential and different numbers I look at while I'm doing product research so if you're not in the discord and you want to check it out it does come with my coaching program but you could also join for $19.99 a month and you get access to all of these different things there's a live group chat right here so if you have any questions you could drop them right here and I answer them every day and then right here where it says free product ideas I post different product ideas in here I try to find at least one a month and then I put it in here and then it's up to you to decide if you want to launch it but I say there is no guarantee it might do well but it might not do well so I break down everything in this little tab right here and hopefully it could give you a good idea about launching your own product on Amazon and you could find out more things to look out for when you're doing your product and keyword research all right with that being said let's get into helium 10 and break down on how I find good products to sell on Amazon. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside of Helium 10. I've been using Helium 10 for over a year now. So if you've never used Helium 10, you're gonna come over here to the product research tab. And this is their main powerful product research tool right here called Black Box. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up a window right here. So most new sellers who just started learning how to sell on Amazon, they only use this section right here. So I'm gonna kinda of get into this section over here. I've done this before in my other videos, but if you're new to the channel, this might help you find a good product. So typically new sellers will come right here and they pick the category that they wanna sell in. Some of my favorite categories are arts and crafts. And then we'll come down here, I like home and kitchen um, a lot of home decor items you could differentiate because there's so many different designs different words you could put on furniture um, you get the point so I'm gonna come down here also kitchen and dining um, office products and patio lawn and garden but that could be kind of seasonal because garden is during the spring and the summer and we'll just do that so now you have your categories picked out now we enter the monthly revenue that we want to make so some sellers might just want to make like a thousand or two thousand dollars a month I typically put around six thousand right here because if you want to replace your day job you're going to want to make a decent income um, if you can make three to four thousand depending on your profit margin then that is pretty good on one product so I put six thousand right here and there's no max and then the price point I used to put like 15 and up but I've done a product launch on a product that cost me less than a dollar to make so you could actually make pretty good profit on cheap products so I'm gonna do eight dollars right here and then I keep it kind of low because I don't want to spend a lot of money on the inventory typically when the price is higher that means the product cost is higher so when you buy your inventory you're gonna be spending a lot more money on that product so I'll do like 24 right here and then the review count this is very important this determines how competitive the market is the more competitive the market is, the more you're going to be spending on PPC to rank your product. PPC is the sponsored ads. I get into it in my other videos, but you want to make sure that the market isn't too competitive. So I'll put about 230 reviews right here. You want to have this number low because if you're competing against sellers who have thousands of reviews, it's going to be very hard to compete because they are already established in the market. They have a lot of reviews that are good and people are going to go to that person's listing and buy it from them because they trust that product because other people left reviews where if they see your product that's brand new you have like two reviews they're going to go with that other seller unless you have something completely different and better than that top seller you will have a struggle trying to compete so i do 230 right there and then that is a basic product research um, method so i'm going to hit search right here and it's going to bring up 200 different products down here so you're going to scroll through here and see what stands out um, what might be a good product obviously you don't want to sell like a tablecloth um, but let's come down here and see if anything pops up. Okay, so like this one right here, this is a inflatable lounger air sofa. I'm um, 168 reviews and they're doing over $15,000 a month on Amazon. So I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna hit view on Amazon. Okay, so while I'm doing product research, I kind of think to myself, how can I differentiate a product like this? People aren't gonna care really about the color. And if they did, this person has a bunch of different colors already on here, but you have to make sure to do this on the main page. So I'm gonna go to the main keyword, which is probably inflatable lounger. 
I'm gonna copy and then I'm gonna paste that on Amazon and it's gonna pull up a bunch of different sellers selling this thing. So that is another thing I kind of skipped. You wanna make sure that the whole market isn't competitive. Just because this seller didn't have many reviews and they're doing good revenue, that doesn't mean that the whole market doesn't have high competition. So we're gonna go in here and right away, this is a red flag. They have 9,000 reviews, this top seller. We're not gonna be able to compete in this market. This seller has over 2,000 reviews and we'll run x-ray just to see the overall picture. Um, just so I could show you what I look at. So I'm gonna hit x-ray. This shows you all their monthly revenue, daily sales, and you will see it all right here. So you can see that top seller with 9,000 reviews, they're doing over $300,000 a month in sales. So what is gonna make your blow up inflatable, whatever it was better than this one, when this seller has 9,000 reviews, they see your product and you have about 10 reviews, they're probably not gonna buy it. So to get a good idea of what you could expect, come down here on the bottom of the page and look at some of the new seller's revenue. So like this one right here, zero reviews, they're doing about 2,000 a month, which isn't bad, but look how cheap they're offering it compared to the other sellers. The average price is 31. So chances are their profit margins aren't great. They're just getting sales because their price is so low. But even down here, if you come down here, let's see, you can see a lot of these new sellers who are ranked on page one for the main keyword. There's over 14,000 monthly searches for this product. You get the point. So a lot of these sellers towards the bottom of the page for page one, they are doing very low revenue because those top sellers are dominating the market. There's a few sellers on here with over a thousand reviews, actually like five of them. And I always stay away from markets when there's sellers with over a thousand reviews. And when you see someone with that many reviews, 9,000, you could tell they're getting most of the sales. And also another thing I like to do, I come up here to where it says search volume and we wanna check the search volume history. So I'm gonna go to all time. So this chart is kind of all over the place. I always check this to see if it's seasonal. Um, if we go to the last year, you could see there wasn't too many spikes. There was one right here in December, but that's another thing to look at is the search volume history. You wanna make sure there's no seasonality. You're not gonna sell it in the summertime and then it's not gonna sell for the rest of the year. Um, now I'm getting off topic, so let me go back to Black Box and show you another method. Now this is the favorite part of Black Box that I like. I always use it. I go to the Keywords tab, and now we're gonna find products based on the keyword data or the demand of what Amazon customers are searching on Amazon. So we're gonna do a minimum of, let's say, 5,000 monthly searches, and then a monthly revenue will do, let's say, 4,000. And what I'm gonna do in this video that I haven't done in other videos is I'm gonna do the review count very low. So we're gonna find new products that are in the market that don't have much competition. So their revenue might be a little low, but that's because they just launched the product and they're doing $4,000 a month with less than 50 reviews. And then I'm gonna put about nine to $23 and I'm gonna hit search. All right, so right now it's around 4th of July, so we're not gonna wanna do that. We're probably gonna get a lot of those, but let's keep coming down here and see if anything pops up. Now, chances are I'm not gonna find a product. This is just what I do. I end up scrolling through a lot of these pages until I find something that looks cool or I've never heard of. I click on it and then I run the numbers. So nothing on that page. I'm gonna go to the next. Okay, so this popped up to me, Acrylic Rings. They are doing over $5,000 a month with only 38 reviews and maybe rings you could differentiate. So I'm gonna pull them up on Amazon to see what they are. They're just like cheap little rings. Um, a lot of these people have low reviews. And yeah, so it doesn't look too competitive, but let's actually check the numbers on these rings. I don't know if they're a good product or not. So I always run Helium 10 to see the overall market. All right, so acrylic rings are getting searched on Amazon over 12,000 times. The average reviews are very low, only 131 reviews. Um, the BSR is pretty high. That means there's not high sales velocity, but let's actually come down here and see what sellers are doing. So the average revenue is a little low around 4,000, but that's what I put into Helium 10 black box. And you can see like this person right here, only 76 reviews and they're doing over $29,000 in sales selling these rings at $16. So there are sellers doing pretty good revenue with low reviews. All of these sellers have under 100 reviews. This person with zero reviews is doing almost $2,000 a month, $3,400 a month with only 59. And you get the point. So I found a product and it's not in a competitive market. The average reviews are very low, meaning I can probably compete in the market where there's no sellers that have tons of reviews. I could jump in here and a lot of sellers on page one have under 10 reviews and they're doing pretty good revenue for the amount of reviews that they have. And then if you have a good idea of how to get creative with rings, I'm not really good with jewelry, but we could see like these are different um, 
it's just like cheap rings that people are selling in like a bundle so let's actually see how much they cost so i'm gonna go right here to find suppliers on alibaba and right here you can see they are very cheap um 75 cents these are 32 cents a piece um and that is the minimum order is only two so these things could be bought pretty cheap and the more you buy the cheaper they are so you might be able to get a cool design on these rings that might sell better than some of the other people it's not a product like a barbecue glove where you can't differentiate it these you could come up with different designs different shapes different colors different styles you get the point so that is a pretty good product idea again the bsr is a little high but you do have good search volume right here so that means people are searching for these rings and a lot of these sellers have low reviews with great revenue so that is a good sign again i'm going to click right here on the search volume and we will see if it is a trend so i'm going to click on the one year and you could see these things took off at the beginning of 2021 only a thousand people were searching them and now almost 15,000 people are searching this product all right i could go on and on trying to find different products but that is just some of the things i look at when i'm doing product research let me just show you one other thing when it comes to the keyword so if you're looking for your main keyword you want to have the most relevant keyword with the highest search volume so usually i look for products with 10,000 or above for the main keyword um, but we would go to that top seller right here, 29,000 a month. And I'm going to click on this little box right here. And then I'm going to hit run keyword search. All right. So this is going to show you all of the keywords that that seller is ranked for, meaning it's going to be on page one for these keywords. And you can see where they are ranked right here by looking at the organic and sponsored rank. So we want to see which keywords are most relevant and they're ranked for in the top one to 20 positions. So to do that, I'm going to go right here and hit one. And right here, I'm going to hit 20. And then we could see right here, there's 1900 keywords, but this should narrow it down. So I'm going to hit apply. And now we have a lot less keywords to work with. They have 114 keywords that are relevant to that product. You could see right here, these are all organic rank number one and these all match what the product is. So now you can see all of your different keywords right here. And if you look right here, resin rings, there's over 27,000 monthly searches on this product and that is pretty good so the demand on these rings are pretty high there's a lot of different keywords with good search volume and that is how you do your keyword research you want to do it based off the main keyword with the highest search volume most relevant to your product all right that is it for this video if you ever need a product validated you want me to check it before you launch it on the market i point out any red flags and i break down a full report of what is good with the product what is bad and any ideas for improvement i have a product validator all of my links and information are right down below in the description all right that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one goodbye